Sarah Bartman was born in 1789 at the Gamtos River, now known as the Eastern Cape in South Africa. She was a Khoi Khoi woman who was exhibited as a freak show attraction in the 19th century Europe under the name Hottentop Venus. In December 1815, Sarah died when she was around 26 years old. In her short life, she experienced immense cruelty from the hands of colonialists who took her from South Africa, her homeland, to Europe on the promise of her earning to promote a better life. Sarah Bartman was one of the first black women known to be subjugated to human sexual trafficking. Like a circus animal, she was exhibited for her uncommonly bodily type where they caged her next to rhinos. There, people would pay to see her and were given sticks so they could poke her through the bars. Sarah's unique shape was perceived as a curiosity at that time, but became a subject of scientific interest as well as of erotic projection. Bartman had become one of the most famous celebrity exhibits of the 19th century, where she was exhibited in freak shows in London, Paris and Ireland. In London, the act consisted of her emerging from a cage like a wild animal. In Paris, she was sold to an animal trainer and paraded at high society balls. Sarah Bartman's humiliation continued after her death when she was dissected by a surgeon who conserved her brain and genitalia in bottles of formadillehyde. Her skeleton was exhibited in the Monsi de la Homme Museum in Paris until the mid-1970s. Finally, on the 6th of March 2002, after 200 years away from home, Nelson Mandela brought Sarah back to South Africa and was buried in the Eastern Cape province on the 9th of August that same year. Sarah Bartman's experience really set in motion the particular way that black women's bodies have been seen and assessed and represented throughout the years. And sadly, today through fashion, women all over the world from all races are attracted to the attention they get through wearing certain garments, which would expose or enhance assets to which Sarah was experimented on for. Taken from the forthcoming album African DNA, Sarah Bartman is the first single out of 15 tracks to be released from it. This song is designed to educate and to uplift women of the world, encouraging them to wear their crowns again. I feel this movement will also have impact on the way men view women, and because of the newfound self-respect, the men would have no choice but to act accordingly to the new-founded higher standards. Through the women of the world finding themselves and self-respect, I believe this will create good family values, examples and influences within the home so that the children would have a better and organised future with dignity. Sarah Bartman was taken away and was humiliated, exploited and eventually became a scientific experiment, all because of her unique shape which excited and at the same time baffled the European oppressors. A scientist named Kovia said that Sarah was the missing link between animals and humans. She was sold to several slave owners between Ireland and England as a domestic servant. And in London, she was displayed in a building in Piccadilly, a street that was full of various oddities like the near plus ultra of hideousness and the greatest deformity in the world. Sarah was kept in a cage which was said to be around a metre and a half high. After four years in London, she was transported to France, and there Sarah was experimented on by scientists, humiliated in zoos, prostituted, raped, and wasn't treated for STDs, and as a result of this continued abuse, she became an alcoholic and died in Paris, year 1815. Speculation of smallpox or pneumonia is said to be the cause of death, but for sure the impact of Sarah's degrading life from the hands of her oppressors has to be the number one suspect. Women of today of all colours and races expose themselves too easily, making it easy for the 21st century experiment subliminally. Through my African DNA tour, I plan a campaign to highlight the Right Honourable Sarah Bartman so the world will research her and be put on the platform to be not forgotten. 
This campaign cannot be done without the help of international DJs and sound systems. So I'm asking for support by promoting this song and educating audiences about Sarah, a great grandmother of South Africa, deserving of highlighting and recognition. I wrote this song so everyone will know that close to heart, Sarah Bartman's name will ever ring. I thank everyone in advance for your support. Thank you. One Raw Records, Lioness Fonts.